the Lisbon Traviata one. I, I chose it just for the, the sound. Uh, it sounded like a murder mystery, too, by Agatha Christie, the Lisbon Draviata. The only other alternate title it had for a while was a, it was a Chicago Trovatore and a Genoa Tristan, but I thought Lisbon Traviata sounded the best. And when I wrote the play, I uh, actually had the idea for it. It was a performance I had read about, but there was no tape of it. So I was quite surprised that literally the day I finished the play, I saw an ad, Angel Records announces, we have found the tapes for the Lisbeth Traviata. So I thought, oh, if I'd actually, if I'd written a play called the Chicago Trovatore, maybe we'd have, because that's a tape I'd really like to have with Collis and UC Bierling and uh, Tito Gobi, a wonderful cast, uh, Abe Stignani singing Trovatore, be even more exotic than the Traviata, which actually is not my favorite performance of her Traviata. I, I think the London Traviata is a uh, much uh, superior performance. But I, I wanted to write a play about something that didn't exist, so you couldn't... I didn't want the audience to be able to see the play and go out and go to Tower Records and buy the Lisbon Traviata, which you can now do, unfortunately. Because <laughs> it's... One of the things is talking about art. I mean, theater is, is like opera. It exists in space and time, and it's gone. If you weren't there, you missed it. Uh, you know, I'm, I love the fact that we can record things, obviously, but it does take some of the excitement away. Uh, I love hearing an older person tell me about Poncel or Kirsten Flogstad, or what it was like to have seen the Lunts perform, or describe the glory of of uh, Olivier's uh, um, Oedipus. In a way, I feel I'm there when someone with great passion and imagination tells what these performances were like. So, to s and somehow capturing things on tape, on film, does flatten them out. They're invaluable records, but it's not the same as being there. And I think that's. What's so exciting about theater, it's live and it's different every night. And instill that passion and enthusiasm to a younger audience, I think we'll be doing something. But everyone says, I mean, people say, now I'm not going to see the movie, I'll wait and see it on video. And it's like, ah, 